Hi, this is Brother Richard, and today we're continuing with our lesson series, Prototokus Mystery Part 405. We're continuing with our lesson theme, The Fall of the Fourth Empire. This will be Part 4. Scripture teaches the second half of the Fourth Empire will center around the person of the beast. This is done to bring damnation to all human and non-humans who live in opposition to God and His way. Turn to 2 Thessalonians, 2nd chapter, verses 8 to 12. 2 Thessalonians, 2nd chapter, verses 8 to 12. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, of all power and signs and lying wonders. This is alluding to Satan's giving ultimately him his power, his ability to be crafty, his wisdom, all this taken from the Antichrist, incorporated into the beast. <coughs> With all deceivableness of unrighteousness, I'll just use this word all. So it's talking about the epitome, the essence, the quintessence of the ability to deceive, the essence and the quintessence of the level, lowest level of evil unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved <clears throat> for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie in the original Greek it says they should believe the lie hmm. that they all A-L-L -L, human non-human might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So every evil-minded, evil-crafting, evil-purposed individual is going to enter into a period of deception, leading to their destruction. <clears throat> Scripture teaches he will deceive the gods of the world, who are the rulers over the humans, to acknowledge him as supreme over them. So we see the essence of the, 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 the wisdom of the Father. These guys basically are motivated by one thing, power over those that they dominate. But what God is doing is bringing them into a situation where somebody's dominating them taking their authority and their power, manipulating them just as they're manipulating the humans. Turn to Daniel 11, verse 36. And the king shall do according to his his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god, and shall speak marvelous things against the god of gods, 
and shall prosper till the pro prosper till the indignation be accomplished. So basically, what this is saying, when he magnifies himself above all the gods, they have to dance to his tune. <clears throat> Whatever he says, jump. They say how high? Because if they're acknowledging him as God, it means that he becomes their God. This includes Satan. Mm. It must be painful. <laughs> but the Father is magnificent, the way <laughs> the Father is doing this, because he's taking their own motivation and turning it on to them as the instrument of their own downfall. Next principle. Scripture teaches <clears throat> every human alive, every human alive at that time was not written in the book of life, in other words, they are not born again, will worship him. Revelation 13, verse 8. Did you say is not born again? Yes. So you look around at everybody you pass during your day. And that person that you're looking around, if they're alive at the time that this takes place, we're talking about maybe a 40 year period, they're going to be worshiping this guy. Hmm. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So this leaves no exceptions. If a person's name is not in the book of life, if they're alive, at this time they are going to be worshiping the beast. In every god who is the god of the worshiper of the beast is going to be worshiping the beast. Brings us to the next principle. <clears throat> Scripture teaches <clears throat> only those humans who are written in the Lamb's book of life will be saved. Not only saved, but ultimately delivered out of this reality or the reality that will exist at that time. Turn to Daniel, 12th chapter, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, that's the great tribulation, even to that same time. And at that time, the time of the great tribulation, thy people shall be delivered delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book. So if the person's name is in the book of life, Lamb's book of life, whatever situation he's in, God's going to deliver him into the fullness of the life level in which he was designed to exist. <clears throat> person's name is not in the book of life, they're going to be damned lake of fire, outer darkness. There's only going to be two places, either saved or lost. Right. So we understand there will be, I don't want to use the word many, there will be some whose names are in the book of life who've been delivered and are alive at the second coming. Yes, there's going to be a remnant right. that survive, mm -hmm. reserved, 
But you're going to find the majority, the majority of Christians, I can't emphasize this enough, are going to be here when this happens. Overwhelming majority. <clears throat> we see this. <clears throat> In Revelation, turn to Revelation 2. We're going to read verse 22. And as you're turning, Scripture teaches God will use the beast not only to deceive these people into bringing them into damnation, but he's going to use the beast to bring those saints who missed the rapture to repentance. Revelation 2, verse 22. Here you will find something very interesting prophesied by the Lord. <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. Now this re <coughs> refers to the church of Thyatira. It says, Behold, <clears throat> I will cast her, the uh, false prophetess, or the, the backslidden prophetess who uh, also is an adulteress. At that point, can she still be called a prophetess? No. Because the Lord says she calls herself a prophetess, okay. but she's not. So she's unrepentant then. Yeah. Mm. Yes. The term backslidden mm -hmm. indicates at one point she was correct. She has yes. altered yeah, that's true. her path. Yes. That's true. She had to be to be she in was, the She was, because he says, I gave community. her time to repent. Right. So there was a time she was in line with the Lord. So we're understanding that everybody who was in the community and is being backslidden is who we're talking about right now. Yes. <clears throat> now you find something interesting. Behold, I will cast her into a bed. She's going to be, she's going to die on a bed of affliction. But we want to focus on the rest of this. And them them that commit adultery with her <coughs> into great tribulation. <coughs> so her followers are going to be preserved. Now this is spoken of before the rapture. So it's talking about at the time that this is being presented, <coughs> the harlot city is in vogue, the kings of the earth that these people are going to be preserved through all of that though you're going to have many Christians martyred doesn't doesn't refer to this group they're going to be preserved until the time of the beast note what it goes on to say <clears throat> I will cast her into a bed and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation except they repent of their deeds now, this brings us to the next principle. Just before you go to the next principle. Yes. Is the implication that those who we've just described in verse 22, mm -hmm. are, who are brought to great tribulation, the Father is giving them the last chance to repent because the next thing he does is uh, the great delusion. No, the next thing he does is close the door on them by the rapture. Oh. They're being warned here shape up because when I come if you haven't repented this is what's going to happen to you you're going to be preserved to go through great tribulation okay so we're now at the point of great tribulation because they didn't they're unrepentant the father's given great delusion strong delusion these the people I'm talking about are the Jezebel types who are at one point in the church communities they're no longer in the church communities because they are unrighteous well, what will happen <clears throat> is that they are going to continue in their sin for the first half of the tribulation period. But so they're going to be preserved. So he has his hand over them, even though they're sinning, even though they're unrepentant. Yeah, he says, I'm going to put you <clears> to <throat> great tribulation. So the last thing then is Michael standing up, delivering them. Mm -hmm. So the purpose is for them to see great tribulation. That's how close That's you came. The, the great deception. Right. Okay. But it, but the father is saying that's how you know, he, he's going to take yes. them. But yes. that's how close you came to. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Note what it's saying here. <clears throat> now.
Now, these individuals are going to be a, an example to all the church. Is this the largest group who turn up in the, in the heavens? I'm thinking about the no, multitude no, standing no, before no, the Father. No. Oh, that's part of that group. Okay. Part of that group. Okay. <coughs> the scripture teaches all the church communities, <coughs> all the church communities that missed the rapture will witness the judgment on this group, mm -hmm. those in this church right. community, and turn to the Lord in the great tribulation okay. started by the beast. Okay. Matthew 24, verse 15, then we're going to come back to Revelation. Matthew 24, verse 15. <clears throat> These are being made an example right. for all the other church right. communities. So the beast is being used for a multitude of purposes yes. of the Father. Matthew 24, 15, When you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, that's <coughs> the image of the beast. <coughs> this is what sets off the great tribulation. Drop down to uh, verse 23, uh, verse 21. For then, then, when, when you see the image of the beast standing in the Holy of Holies, it's triggering the start of the Great Tribulation. Then, at that point, shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be now, i want to focus on something here <coughs> organized religion is consistently talking about seven year tribulation period seven year tribulation period nowhere do you see that in the scripture the focus of the scripture is great tribulation one point in which suffering and egregious torment is so blatant on the earth that it's never duplicated again nobody will ever go through that type of egregious existence again yeah. so the point that comes out what stands out to me is those who we've been talking about the jezebel types because they have the holy spirit in them they don't come under strong delusion in the way that everybody else does. And the reason I'm saying that is because they have the Holy Spirit. They have the Holy Spirit and they have to give the testimony of Jesus Christ to be delivered by Michael when he stands up. That wouldn't be possible if they were under strong delusion. Is well, the, <coughs> the idea also is it's a different thing. <coughs> they have the Holy Spirit in it which keeps them from totally degrading to the point of the person who okay. doesn't. And succumbing too. Okay. Holy Spirit acts as a buffer. Right preserving that soul mm -hmm. <clears throat> the only way they would experience that <clears throat> is the same way with the unfaithful servant the Lord takes away the Holy Spirit then they're wide open to experience the same thing unsaved people do so all these other groups who we're going to call martyrs for the moment who are looking at this specific group as the example understand perfectly at that point what you just said yes okay yes now We've determined this is the point of great tribulation. Daniel talks about it. Jesus talks about it. <clears throat> and particularly here in Matthew 24. We don't have time to really go into all of it. <clears throat> but he's saying the only way to stop this is the Father himself intervenes. Shuts it down. Right. Because if he didn't, the human race would be wiped out. Right. <clears throat> Those of the church would all die. But he's going to preserve alive a good percentage of them, majority of them are going to die. Now go back to Revelation 2, verse 23. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Amen.
Notice what he says. <clears throat> and I will kill her children with death. So the inference is here that this woman <clears throat> was not only an adulteress, a fornicator, but she had others. She had the whole community uh, reading incestuous uh, children. So, so the children aren't aren't necessarily her followers, but they are, in fact, her family members, is what uh, you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and <clears throat> bring about a judgment on this church community. These are all Christians born in fornication. They're still in the church communities when this is happening, this sure. incestuous, whatever yeah. you call it. Yes, they never leave. And the Lord, of course, is immensely <clears throat> angry at this. But doesn't the protection of the angel over the church become removed from them because of their behavior? Certainly. That's why it's allowed to happen. But still, the Luciferians can't, can't jump in. They do. The Luciferians are inciting it. The angel can't do anything because the people are acquiescing to it. They yield the vessels. What I meant. Yeah. Go on. Okay. <clears throat> so these children, because of their parents or her, they're damned as soon as they're born. No, not as soon as they're born. <clears throat> as soon as they adopt the lifestyle. Right. Okay, so right. the age they bring on a curse okay. on themselves. Because okay. of because of sin, a behavior of sure. sin. Yeah. The, the point I was trying to bring out was since the angel has removed his protection from that specific community due to their behavior. Not the whole community. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Not the whole community. So we've got to drag it out of you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Those that participate okay. in this influence. Right, okay. Yes. But they are <clears throat> incestuous progeny. Yes. So, so they're born into sin is, 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 is yeah. the point you're making. Do they have some kind of protection other than you know, I, I can't even form the words, but I just know that it puts a different spin on everything. If they're born into sin in an incestuous, it's a double whammy, you know, that, that, that's on them. Is there some kind of... Uh, yes. Can I rephrase a little bit? <clears throat> it sounds like the children are born protected even though they're born from an incestuous relationship, until such time as they, the children, actually perform sinful acts. They're born into a sanctified community. Okay. Set apart. They make a decision. You have committed Christians in the community who are going to make the rapture. You have an incestuous group here that are engaged in doing things under the Luciferian influence. The decision that the individual child makes okay. is going to determine gotcha. his destiny. Right. So the angel removes his protection uh, to the individual. As he makes the as wrong he makes decision. The wrong good decision. Okay. And is there an age of accountability? Sure. What, what age is that? Well, the difference depends on how mature the child is. Well, the Jews have it at 13, don't they? Well, they no thirteen is when you become a man. That's Twelve, you get the, your bar mitzvah. That's the age of accountability. But well, no, that's the age where you determine that you are going to follow. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. You have the knowledge. Right. Okay. So you might be five years old then. Sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. See, I'm thinking about Mason, and mm -hmm. but I understand Mason. Mason's a completely. He's from this perspective. He's a right. different person, and we're, we're, we'll get into that another time. But the mm -hmm. thing of it is, is the. Um, each kid, depending on their upbringing, matures differently, sure. so their age of accountability sure. is going to be varied. The age of accountability can be defined as the age in which the child understands the difference between right and wrong. wrong right. Mason right. long ago passed the age of sure. accountability. And I imagine being in the church communities, that age is, is lower than those who are outside. That, that makes sense to me. Okay. Yes. So these children... Uh, egregiously they did the, the very special notice what it goes on to say let's continue reading here mm -hmm. revelation 2 verse 23 i will kill her children with death mm -hmm. what does that mean <clears throat> it means that from the time of the rapture 
to the time of the Great Tribulation, the whole church community are going to see the suffering of these children in a million different ways, understanding. Notice what he goes on to say, why it happened. I will kill our children with death, and all, 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 all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth, searcheth the reins, that's the mind, and hearts, and I will give unto every one of you according to their works. So these children are going to be using in this example for whatever period of time it is until the great tribulation of the judgment of God on those that make the wrong decision. When they get to the point of the great tribulation and they're going to go through the great tribulation, they will understand why this happened. Mm -hmm. Can I just um, reiterate to those at home who are following our studies on the internet or wherever they may be, <coughs> that it must be clear to them by now that each verse has an incredible depth of comprehension in it, which is not possible to, to understand just reading it once. Okay, I know it. No, you don't. Trust me, you don't know it. Oh. And so therefore, I'm, we are urging them to pull this apart and analyze it the way that we do. Exactly. You can spend a long time on just one, one verse. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, Amen. Yes. Absolutely correct. <clears throat> Turn to Revelation 7. Revelation 7, starting in verse 9. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb all the white robes and palms in their hands so he's talking about this great multitude these are the church communities that were left behind at the rapture they're all slaughtered in the great tribulation they come up as a group why? Because they are a group. <clears throat> they go through this great tribulation instigated by the beast. And they come through <clears throat> understanding one thing. By the time they enter into great tribulation, they see the example of the children of the harlot prostitute who they have witnessed dying from the time of the rapture to the time of great tribulation and they know why they died they have been cursed by the Lord judged by the Lord because they made a sovereign decision <clears throat> to take the left hand path while they were in the church okay. communities okay. Okay. it's an end and he said they will know I try the reins and the hearts I make the decision of the destiny of everybody who stands in opposition to me. Mm -hmm. This one died, he got run over by a 18-wheeler. This one died in a, or a not a car accident, a, a, a car and buggy accident, because there's no cars at this sure, time. Sure. This one, uh, a, a pack of dogs uh, tore them apart. They're going to know why each one, all the churches, are going to witness the death of these children. So you're still talking about the Jezebel group yes. as, as a group. They've all died in their various manners. But they still have the Holy Spirit in them. So do we understand that they go to the new earth or they stand before the no, Lord? No, they're the lost. You can't be saved cursed by the Lord. If they weren't saved, they wouldn't die. They're living in okay, sin. Okay, okay. So I misunderstood. So, the, so he has judged them right there and then. Yes, he's saying you. when the rapture took place, they got left behind. They already determined they were not going to live for him. I was under the impression that you said earlier on that they would be part of this group who stands before them, but that's 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 not correct. The remnant of those who are repentant is what you're saying. Exactly. And those that we're talking about chose not to be repentant. Exactly. Okay. They 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 are uh, themselves. They chose the path. Right. The Lord said, "Okay, I'm going to kill you with death." A million different ways you're going to die and these other churches are going to see what happens to you understand why it happened to you so by the time they get to the great tribulation they're going to repent 
Georgia raised a point, which is a, a very good point from my perspective, and that is, how is it possible, perhaps that's the wrong way to say it, for those who go through the church communities, who see the remnant, who see those who are uh, unrighteous and you know, fall out of favor, how is it possible for them to, having missed the rapture, for them to continue being unrepentant? Because they want their life, just like Christians today want their life. But they're not under the influence of the fourth empire. Sure they are. They're in the church communities. Doesn't matter. They've okay. yielded to the Luciferian influence that's gone into the church community. So the moment that they yield to that influence, they then are under the influence as if they were outside of the church sure. empire. That's no okay. difference. Okay. No difference okay. at all. Uh, when you are committed to the Lord, you are totally sanctified by the Lord. Yeah, you're going to experience things, but you're not. the enemy is not going to be allowed to take you down. The enemy is not going to be allowed to do but so much. You compromise your commitment. You open yourself up to what the enemy wants to do oh, right. because oh. you sovereignly put yourself okay. in that position. So the anointing essentially has been removed from that sure. individual. As even well as the protection of the saint. Right, even though they're really... The, the now people. what happens is interesting here because he says the churches will know. The churches are still in sin. They haven't repented. They're not going to repent until great tribulation. tribulation. Okay. But they see what's happening to these guys. They're making note. Yes. You're talking about the churches, okay? They got left behind. Now, mm -hmm. are they all, because they're following the same pastor, and so the, the, their blood is on the one guy's hands because they're, they've been deceived. They haven't been, they haven't been <coughs> fed the truth. They're following, the of God. they're not Jesse. following anybody but their instincts that are under the Luciferian influence. But the point is that they are following the behavior of she who has shown them this is a good way to live. No, they're following the Luciferians now. Hmm. Jezebel's out of the picture. Okay. What's in the picture? Luciferian influence. That's what took them out in the first okay. place. That's what's directing them now even into the tribulation era leading them to great tribulation they're still following that influence and they're seeing what's happening around them to those that they knew in the communities made the same decision so the father is not letting them die until such time as they get to see what happens as a result says, of that. all the churches will not right. yeah so they're following a certain pastor they all miss the rapture and they continue to follow this pastor who's under the influence? No, no, no. The pastor's gone. The heart of woman has died on the bed of affliction. They're following the Luciferian influence that influenced her. Everybody, everybody if I can rephrase it, everybody is righteous at the point that they go into the communities. For only, for, for some reason or other, each individual decides, I no longer want to be 100% righteous. I now want to behave the way these people outside the communities are behaving. And it's that that removes the protection of the angel from the individual. Yeah. And from in, the, in this instance, according to what he's saying, mm -hmm. what happens, <clears throat> the woman has influence over them initially. Okay. There's a following her. Okay. She gets judged. She says, I'm going to lay her out on the bed. Right. Removed. I'm going to take the children. I'm going to kill them with death. Mm -hmm. Why? Because each child who's grown up makes his own decision. He's not following the woman anymore. He's following the Luciferian influence in his own life. Right. That could be um, um, diametrically opposite okay. to what she was doing. Okay. But that's what the controlling effort right. is. The initial thing that took him out was the woman. Sure. But the life he's lead, leading okay. is not the woman anymore. It's the Luciferian influence that's taking him wherever it's going. And he's already under a death sentence. So when the Father keeps them alive until the point of the Great Tribulation, he, the Father, knows, if I've understood this correctly, that most of that group will be repentant. They, 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 sure. they must be. Sure, sure. Right. Well, look at all of them. Most of you can't count. Where do they end up? before the throne of God. <clears throat> At that point, okay, after the after uh, the great white 
the great white throne is what you're talking about no, or the beamer no, seat no 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 the altar in the temple okay like those who heaven come up of under, heavens oh, right. yeah okay. they, they come up as martyrs yeah what were you going to say but they will still I be you, you know. right. okay. but they will still be on very low levels in terms of their position well you're going to read it. <clears throat> Revelation 7 verse 13 to 14 <clears throat> And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes, and whence came they? <clears throat> I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. He said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Now, they wash their robes when they go through great tribulation. Okay. Before they get to great tribulation, the robes are still spotted. Right, they have been living compromised lives. Mm -hmm watching the children of this woman die sure. all the churches are privy to this situation because the Lord's engineered it mm -hmm. he said I'm going to use these children as an object lesson for all the, church. the churches okay. <clears throat> so by the time of the great tribulation that is the that's the crucible that they have to go through to lead them to this repentance so should we understand that by the time of the strong delusion and the great tribulation there is no church community group who continue to be unrighteous and there, that's it last thing. until the time of the great tribulation all the churches that got left behind all the churches that got left behind still have spotted roads right, what does okay. that mean they're living compromised lives now they're saints. They're not going to be in the Luciferian societies because they'd be killed. Sure. They're living in groups, surviving okay. <clears throat> by the grace of God, right. who's preserving them to this point. point. And th what I'm bringing out is, after this point, they've all repented. Or, after the Great Tribulation. Right. So if there's any who did not repent at that point, it's all over for them. They'll never, exactly. oh, right. yeah. They'll yeah, never have done. another they're opportunity. Yeah. Right. But it takes the Great Tribulation to get them to repent. This is the thing that's being uh, uh, illustrated here. They see the death of these children. That's not enough. Sure. It takes the beast inaugurating the most vicious time of existence to get this group to wash their clothes. Right. Now that's telling you how strong the Luciferian influence is mm. at that point. Yeah. <clears throat> so verse 14 tells us, <clears throat> these are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. So they, it takes this to get them to where you see them before the altar therefore are they before the throne of God serve him day and night in his temple he that dwelleth on the throne shall dwell he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among so they're going to be incorporated as a group into kingdom society they're going to be priests because they work at the altar but they're not going to be <clears throat> anywhere near their brethren that made the rapture they're here before the altar the elders are here around the throne right the angels are here working in the temple okay so you have a different level gotcha yes will they still be called sons sure yeah. sure it's not fully adopted yes i never make the adoption <clears throat> are these the lowest level of position in the heavens no because you're going to have uh saints that come be after them okay the people that overcome the mark of the beast, for instance, are below them. Beast, right. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> but what we find here, this is the grace of God. Because if it weren't for the Great Tribulation, most of the church would be lost. Okay. <clears throat> So they have been witnessing the judgments coming on the members of the church 
a Thyatira. In other words, the Church of Thyatira is being set out as an example. The activities that have gone on in there, which really anger the Lord. <clears throat> and he says, okay, I'm going to use you as an example for all the rest of the churches. This is going to happen to a certain group, the children. And for a period of, what, 20, 30 years, they're going to see these judgments come sure. on and everybody's going to know oh he was a member of the church of right. Thyatira right. because when the rapture takes place they've got to get together as a group not as one group but sure. groups sure. to survive now you see how they survive turn to <clears throat> Revelation 8th uh, chapter Verses 1 to 3. <clears throat> and when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. I saw the seven angels which stood before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. Another angel came and stood at the altar, having golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. <clears throat> so it's the prayers of saints that enable God to preserve the, 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 these guys and the ones that are still on earth. So the elders, that's, that's the other function that they're performing that we discussed, yes. Yes, they capture the prayers, they're custodians of the prayers, and the prayers are released into the censor of a priest angel to be offered before God. Right. I can only imagine that the angel over the Church of Thyatira, the disappointment that he must have in watching this for 20 years. Yes, but it's balanced with the understanding that there is a segment that's going to make the rapture. Mm 